before I get started, I just wanna let you guys know that this is going to be actually two videos. This video is going to be about the purchasing of the bike, which is picking what I wanted online, the delivery process, the issues and length that it took to get the bike, and the resolution of those issues. So the whole buying experience, and then I'm gonna do a whole nother video, just a complete overview, review of the bike after owning it for a couple months. So before we move on any further, I just need to mention the lovely sponsor of this video who sent me this really nice jersey that I'm wearing right here. It's called iloveroadcycling.com and I will link in the 10% discount code below. But they sell some pretty cool jerseys like this one, some other apparel and also some accessories. As you can see, it's a pretty nice jersey, brightly colored, fits well. It's a club fit, so it's not super aero tight, but it fits snug enough. And uh, it fits true to size. And so far, I'm very happy with it. So uh, check it out, the link's down below and see what they have and uh, get yourself a discount along the way. So let's jump back to the video. Hey, I bet my buying experience started out just like yours. Going out on the internet and searching all the bike websites and seeing what's out there and seeing what I like. And as I'm going through all the different websites, I'm quickly learning what I like and what I don't like and what I really want in my new road bike. I'm also finding out that what I want is pretty pricey. A lot of bikes in the $5,000 range, which is higher than I want to spend. So the things I gotta have, an integrated cockpit, electronic shifting, and disc brakes. It's really time to upgrade. And what I soon discovered was aspects and the specifications that I wanted were right out of my price range. The prices were pretty high and I didn't want to go anywhere near that $5,000 mark, which I was finding that most of the bikes were in. I didn't even really want to go to the $4,000 mark. But I was starting to realize that this bike was going to be pretty expensive if I wanted to get everything I wanted. Now the good note here is, during this crazy quarantine environment, the bike sales have exploded. But not only new bike sales, but the secondary market. So luckily for me, I put my bike up on eBay and I got a good amount of money for it. Much more than I ever thought I was. So it increased my budget a little bit. So if I really had to stretch to that $4,000 mark, um, I could. I didn't want to go that high, but I could. And that would have been out the door. The other thing that I quickly found out is lack of customization. So yeah, each bike that I liked and each model bike that I liked had different versions, meaning do you want it with 105, do you want it with Altegra, do you want it with Durace? But the customization was almost non-existent. Other than changing the group set and some of the sites, maybe the rims and tires, otherwise you got what you got and you would have to upgrade aftermarket. So I was so happy when I remembered to go back to Ribble and not only find a bike that had what I liked, but to be able to fully customize it. So they might not be the most popular bike brand, especially here in the US, but they are definitely getting some great accolades. And I can tell you, I agree with what I'm seeing. Now, I purchased my bike back in July of 2020. And I can tell you the price of these bikes on Ripple's website have already gone up. So once I found the model bike I liked, which is the Ribble Endurance SL Disc, you can see they have three different models. And right off the bat, I could go up to the DI2 version and I knew around how much it was gonna cost me. And once I chose the size of my bike, which in my case was a small, this customized bike is like no other website. As you can see on my screen, I was able to customize just about everything. And I got the bike just the way I wanted it. Not only is the customization so good on this website, it's not just like picking a group set, but I can pick the size of my cranks if I want a compact or standard chain rings, even the size of my rear cassette. Look at this. There's over 10 
maybe a dozen different tire choices to choose from. And finally, I finally got what I really wanted. A fully integrated cockpit. As you can see, this just goes on and on to eventually you can essentially get the exact bike that you want. So I'm going to scroll through real quickly what I got on my bike. But look at this. Everything I wanted, at least for the most part, everything can't be exactly perfect. 34.83 US dollars and 160 delivery. Way under the $4,000 mark. And let's quickly run through the competitor websites to Ribble and see how much it would have cost me to get a light bike. And that is without customization and without getting everything that I wanted. First bike I looked at was Cannondale Synopsis. 46.50, no Shimano cranks, no integrated cockpit. Then I moved over to the Bianchi. Great bike, 5,900 bucks, no integrated cockpit. Then I moved on over to the Cervelo Caledonia. Perfect bike, but 6,500 bucks, real expensive. Then the Specialized, again, everything I liked, but $5,000, and they were out of every single size. Then I kind of moved over to the Canyon, great looking bike, but that's even the old school DI2 with the junction box under the handlebars. Scott Addict, no integrated cockpit, not even Shimano cranks, but $4,000. Then I looked at the Domain Trek, beautiful bike, but 6000 bucks to get it, and there you can't find it anywhere. The Felt, I've owned those in the past, 5500 bucks, no integrated cockpit again. Finally, the Giant, no integrated cockpit, Great looking bike, but 5,800 bucks to get that one as well. Now, once I was totally satisfied with my purchase, became the ordering. And I ordered it, and ordering was easy as pie. Since we're in this crazy environment, as you probably know, there's a big shortage of bikes. And on top of that, because Ribble does that high level of customization, they build every bike to order. So there is a wait. They initially, and this is back in the heat of the pandemic back in July, I was told one to two months. It took them over three months. I'm being told now, and this is January of 2021, that people who are putting in orders now are not going to get their bikes until the summer. So keep that in mind if you cannot wait to get your bike from them. So before I get to the gratuitous unboxing and some really great shots of this bike, let me say, after the delivery, everything didn't go 100% smoothly. The first thing that happened was I paid a little more to get an upgraded seat to get the color to match the blue, as you can see here. They sent me silver, not a big deal, I let them know, and in two or three weeks, they sent me the replacement saddle. The bigger issue really was there was damage in shipping. And I really can't blame Ribble for that. It is a long shipping. So if you think about it, this came from Lancastershire, UK in the Ribble Valley, hence how they get their name, all the way to the USA. Uh, things can happen in international shipping. So when I got on the bike, the first thing I noticed was the lower part of actually the right side of my handlebar was like spaghetti. It cracked, that hurt, as you can see. My issue was reporting it and actually getting them to get me the replacement handlebars took about another month and a half, where that is where I really wasn't happy and I wasn't getting a real answer to what was taking so long. Now, when I finally got it, it was okay, and they did make it right by giving me a little credit, which I'll show you, which I used to get or to add onto this bike. But in that month and a half, you can imagine how frustrating it was not being able to ride the bike. And it wasn't like I can just throw on any generic handlebars in the meantime. One downside to a fully integrated cockpit is it's just not that easy and you have to bring it to your bike shop because you don't want to mess it up. So that extra weight to actually ride my bike really hurt. So now before further ado, let's get to the unboxing, give you some shots of this bike and let's wrap it up. So let's check it out. And let's see what I got. This is a freaking exciting day. Hold on a second. 
Let's do this the easier way. 